Okay, so you have your paper loom ready. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna open it up. Now the lines here, we don't wanna see these. We want those to be hidden. So when we open it up, the inside is actually gonna become the front of this. You'll notice it's got these strips pre-cut for us. So when you're weaving in a loom, these would be called your warp strips. So what we need to do is we actually need to weave in what are called weft strips. So here I have some paper that I've saved from other projects and stuff. And you can use any kind of paper, like even magazine pages or newspaper would look kind of cool to do this. But what you need to do first is this paper has to be as wide as your loom paper. So here, like if I turn it this way, it's not as wide, but if I turn it this way, it is as wide. So what I'm gonna do is I actually have two colors here. So to save time, I've got this green and I've got this pink. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it the way that it's as wide as the paper, and if I need to, just to sort of make sense, I'm gonna do it this way. But I'm gonna cut this in strips. So I'm gonna hold these together, because if I hold them together, I can get twice the amount of work done. So I'm cutting these, and I'm just gonna make a stack of these strips of paper that I can weave into my loom that I've already created. So I'm making my weft to go into my warp. So usually warp lines are gonna go vertical, therefore weft lines would have to go horizontal. And I'm gonna to try to cut these all about the same size. It looks like if I split this what's left in half, then everything should be pretty close to the same size. You could do ones where you cut skinny strips and then fat strips, but you would wanna do it in such a way that you kinda of make a pattern. So the weaving itself should make a pattern as well. So what I'm going to do is, now that these are cut, is I'm gonna start weaving them in. So I'm gonna put these off to the side here for me to use for this. So I'm gonna take one of these pink ones, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an A-B pattern. So A will mean I go over, B will mean I go under. So here first, what I'm gonna do is go over the first yellow strip, then I'm gonna go under the second one. And this will be sort of tricky, but you guys are in charge, so you're gonna make the paper do what you want. So I went over, then under, so now I should go over. Then I will go under, so I have to lift this one up to get under it, then over, then under. Beautiful, right? No, yeah, that looks awful. The thing is, it's woven in correctly because I can see my pattern. Over, then it went under, then it went over again. Under the yellow, over the yellow, under the yellow. But what I want to do to make this stay together is I want to pack it in there tight. So I'm going to tap it down so you can see that that pink weft strip is down at the bottom of the warp lines that I cut. So that's why it was so important earlier when we planned this out to make sure that we cut and we went all the way to that horizontal line. This is where it gets tricky. A lot of people think, okay, over, under, over, under. But it's always over, under, no matter where you're looking at it. So here it should be over, under, but then here it should be over, under. So this strip, you don't go over, you go under. So over, under. So here, since I'm starting with under, then I'm going to pull this so it goes over, then it goes under, then over, under, over, under. Now I can see spaces here, so I again need to pack it down tight. So I'm gonna pack it and scoot the strip down and I can see it sticking out on the side there, so I'm gonna slide it back so it's nice and even. So to keep my pattern going, my pattern is an AB pattern, over, under, A, B, over, under, a, B. This is a B, so this is an A. So I wanna keep doing this in the same order. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get another pink strip, so I'm repeating a color. So if I do it this way and I have two colors, a good system to keep in mind is my pink ones are my overs that start out and my green ones are my unders that I start out with. So I'm going to weave this in, starting with over, then going under, over, under, over. And I'm going to keep filling this in all the way to the top. So I'm going to keep working. You guys keep working.